You probably never heard of the dget function, yet it's just as useful as these three super popular lookup functions. In today's video, I'm gonna show you not just how to use it, but also each of them in specific scenarios. Let's get into it. Here in this table, you can see we have the countries, their products and the sales figures. And suppose that we want to find out specifically for the country of Poland, what are their sales? Initially, you might think of using VLOOKUP function. So let's try that first and compare it to the DGET function next. So type VLOOKUP, hit the tab key. We're just looking for Poland comma and the table array is just the entire table. So we'll select all of it with Control shift down Control shift right comma and the column index number is where is the sales located for the result that we want. So we count from left to right. One, two, three. It's going to be third column, comma, and we just want an exact match. Close parenthesis and hit enter. You can see we get 23,000. So that looks right. And let's now try with the dget function. For this, we just type equals the dget, hit the top key, and the database is simply the whole table. Make sure we select the headers too. Control shift down, control shift right comma. The name is the answer we're looking for. So we're looking for sales comma, and the criteria is what are we filtering by and we want to select not just the country header here but also the country of Poland itself. So from F7 to F8, you can then close up parenthesis and hit enter. You can see we get the exact same answer and arguably the formula is slightly easier. The nice thing here is that the dget function is dynamic. Under the lookup, you decide to switch this to V product. You'll notice that nothing actually changes just because we manually have to put in the column number to number 3, which we would then need to change to number 2. Instead with the dget function, I can change that to the product and you'll see how it automatically updates the sausage. At this point, you might be thinking there's way better alternatives than we look up, like an X lookup or an index match. So let's see how it compares to an index match first. Here you can see we have a slightly different table with the countries, and the sales by the month. So with an index match, we want to try to find for the country of Poland what their sales are specifically and the value. We can type is equal to index first and the array is simply the entire table. So control shift down, control shift right, comma. The row number, that's where we add our first match. So first thing we need to match by the country and then we're gonna match by the months. So the local value is Poland, comma. We can find Poland within this list of countries. So select that comma and we want an exact match. For closing parenthesis, but we're not quite done. We also need to match it by the month of April. So we use another match function here where the lookup value is we're looking for April comma and the lookup array is we can find it in this top part right here. We select four columns comma and we want an exact match. We can then close both parentheses one for the match and the other for the index from the start. Hit enter there and we get for Poland in the month of April. It's around 8,000 and that looks correct. As you've seen here with an index match, it's kind of difficult formula. Yet when we use it against dget, it's definitely easier and faster. We just select the entire database. So from top to bottom here, comma, and the field is going to be April. That's the answer of one comma, and the criteria is that it's April within the country column and that has to be equals to Poland. So we select those two, close parenthesis and hit enter. Because we use the index match, we can now change the month and it's dynamically updating and the exact same thing about the dget function. The dget function looks quite promising so far, but let's take it up a level and compare it to the X lookup. Over here is the file we are working with and we're now not just looking for the month of Israel but also for the month of January. So we can type keywords xlookup first and we'll try that out. We're just looking for Poland comma within the range of countries. Control shift down, select all of the column there, comma and as the return, we're looking specifically for April here. We'll select the entire column, close the parenthesis and hit enter. It's really that simple with the X lookup and with the dget function, it's not that different. 
so it's also going to be quite easy. We just select the entire database here, comma. The field is going to be the April. So that's the answer we want, comma. And we want it filtered into this criteria that the country has to be Poland. We can close our parenthesis and we get the same answer. Now let's see what happens if we try to copy this along for January. But first, we should lock the relevant areas. So this I4 right here, which represents Poland, we just want to press the F4 key. So it has the dollar sign such that it doesn't move. Now we can just control C and control V to paste that. You'll notice. However, when we do that, nothing actually changes. And that's because we manually put in the month in April. If we wanted to change this, we would have to delete this area and select the month of January to get the right answer. However, when we use the dget function, click inside of it, we first want to fix the specific range that we selected. So the country and the Poland part, we can fix that with the key and hit enter. Now we can just drag it to the side and you see we get the same answer without any changes. But you might be thinking, hey, that's not a very fair comparison as the Excel has a tone of other features like using the wildcard. Well, you might be surprised to hear that the dget function has something built in that's superior to the wildcard. Let's suppose that we have Esteban and we want to know his sales. That said, we don't really remember his surname from this list. That's where using the wildcard would be XLOOKUP. And next we'll show you the easier alternative with the dget function. So we just type equals XLOOKUP, hit the copy. We're looking for Esteban, but that's not his exact name. So for an approximate match, we're going to add an ampersand and in quotations, just add an asterisk. This way, Regardless of what he has as a surname, we'll be able to find a match. In the comma, we can find estimate within this list of names, comma, and the return array is we want to find the same name, comma. And instead of the if found feature, we want to go for the match mode and we need to choose the wildcard character match. Select that, close up parenthesis and hit enter. You can see we get 11,000, which is exactly this bigger in table. Now with the dget, it's a lot easier than that. Just type dget here and the database is the small table over here comma and the field is the same comma and we want the criteria to be the name and Esteban. Close up parenthesis and hit enter. The longest for the dget, we don't actually need to do anything for the wildcard match. Just automatically comes in like that. Now I can type Carlos, which is this Carlos C and Carlos over here as well. And we get the exact same figures, even though the dget is much easier. If you're still not impressed with the dget function, there is one more feature that I want to show you over here. Let's suppose that we're not sure about this person's name as Carlos or Charlie. So we want to type both options. Technically speaking, this is an or condition. So it should be Carlos or Charlie. You can actually add that in the function simply at the very end just by dragging it to one more cell. So now we have from E7 to E9. Hit enter there and we still get Carlos. So what it's doing is checking for this name or for other name and whichever one it is matching, it's going to return an answer for. If here we put George, let's say we'll see that we have a George up here and so we get his sales. One important note is that you can't have to mates matching. So Lewis and George are both in this data set. If this case, we get an error. But if one is Lewis and other is Alexander, which is not in data set, you'll see that it defaults to the one that does match, which is Lewis. So essentially the dagate function has a built-in call condition. That said, not all functions are perfect, but let's go over some of the key limitations. And the very first one, going back to this, if you look at the example, is the headers. So here we've added the same headers as on the table. But if I change this from country to countries, for instance, you'll notice we now get an error. So you always have to have the exact same headers. An easy way to avoid this error is simply by linking it to the table's headers. This way you're never really going to have a typo as when one changes, let's say I change the countries over here. It's also going to update on this side. The second limitation is how we structure our answer. 
Looking at the index much example we saw earlier, the structure, the question of this, so country Poland, month of April, and Rwanda. Let's see this vertical format. Function no longer works. We need to have the header and the country right next to each other like so. That said, the index match still works perfectly under this structure. And the final limitation is that you can't drag the formula down. For example, in this scenario, if we wanted the saves for Poland and also for Spain, we can just type that easily and from here we can just drag that down. And it's not a problem to do that with the xlookup function. If we try doing the same thing down below with the dget function, we need to make sure this different is locked correctly. So I'm just going to put a dollar sign on the 8 here. We can drag it to the side, just going to drag that like so. And now suppose we want to try to drag it down. You notice our answer doesn't actually change. And even if I drag this down all the way to the screen, so I'm just adding that and drag that one down, we still get an error. So we are unable to use it when we enter in the first row. So if we wanted to use Spain, we would just need to add the new country in the January row up over here. So the dget function is a great alternative for xlookup, vlookup and index match. Hope you liked the video. Do subscribe for more such learning. I see you in next one soon.